Here's a story from Grandpa for my three favorite little girls, Emma, Ayla, and Audrey. Today's story is about a child who has an unusual pet, a tiny elephant, who has trouble fitting in with the other kids and their pets. Here it is, Strictly No Elephants. Written by Lisa Matchev, illustrated by Taian Yu. The trouble with having a tiny elephant for a pet is that you never quite fit in. No one else has an elephant. Every day I take my elephant for a walk. His is a very thoughtful sort of walk. Can you see how the elephant is holding the umbrella? He doesn't like the cracks in the sidewalk much. I always go back and help him over. That's what friends do. Lift each other over the cracks. Today I'm walking my tiny elephant to number 17. It's pet club day and everyone will be there. Come along, there's a good boy. I coax him the last few feet. It'll be fine. When I look up, there's a sign on the door. The sign says, Strictly No Elephants. My tiny elephant leads me back to the sidewalk, never minding the cracks. That's what friends do. Brave the scary things for you. In this picture, it's raining out, and the tiny elephant looks very sad and dejected. Did you try to go to the pet club meeting too? The girl asks. Yes, I say, but they don't allow elephants. The sign didn't mention skunks, the girl says, but they don't want us to play with them either. They don't know any better, I tell her. He doesn't stink, the girl adds. No, he doesn't, I agree. What if we start our own club? Come along, I say, making certain that my tiny elephant follows me, because that's what friends do. Never leave anyone behind. In this picture, we have all kinds of kids with all kinds of an unusual animals for pets. Giraffes, penguins, bats. We can play here, one of our new friends says. All of us. So we paint our own sign. They crossed out the part of the sign that said, Strictly no strangers, no spoil sports. And they wrote, All are welcome. My tiny elephant will give you directions if you need them. Because that's what friends do. That's the end of the story. I like how the child always took special care of a friend, even though that friend was an animal. It kind of reminds me of me and my special friends, Dickens and Dory. Always remember that Grandpa loves you because that's what grandpas do. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.